Are you ready? I'm ready. You are to respond to a fall from a ladder of 25 feet. Okay, is the scene safe? Scene is safe, yes. Okay, I have my BSI. Sir, my name is Jeff, I'm with the fire department. Please do not move your head. Can I pass C-spine to an assistant? Yes. Okay, passing C-spine. I have one male patient, unresponsive, uh, victim of a fall from a ladder. I'm gonna request ALIS assistance due to his being unconscious and unresponsive. Due to his fall from a ladder, I'm going to open his airway using a jaw thrust and check to see if there are any obstructions such as broken teeth, blood, or vomitus. Do I find any? No. Okay. I'm checking his breathing. Is the patient breathing? Patient is breathing. Okay. I'm going to expose the patient, checking for any signs of injuries that would compromise his breathing. Is he breathing adequately? Shallow, rapid. Shallow and rapid. I will consider a BVM at this time and place the patient on 15 liters of oxygen via non-rebreather. Okay. We're also going to put an oropharyngeal airway in to keep his airway open. Checking his pulses, carotid and radial, I find strong and regular pulses in both locations. Uh, rapid, weak. Okay, rapid and weak pulses. Okay, doing a quick blood sweep. Do I find any major signs of any major bleeds? No bleeds yet. Okay, checking skin color, temperature, condition. Okay. Pale, cool. Pale and cool, okay. Uh, thinking about hypotension, he is already on oxygen. We will warm the patient when we can. Sir, sir, you've fallen from a ladder. We're going to check you out and then we're gonna take you to the hospital. Okay, doing a primary assessment. I'm checking the chest for bilateral chest rise checking for any signs of deformities, contusions, abrasions, punctures, or penetrations. None found. Just falling. None found, okay. Checking the sternum, checking for any crepitus. Okay. None. All right, moving on to the abdomen, checking the quadrants for any signs of rigidity or tenderness. None found. Okay, checking the pelvis, pushing down, pushing in, for checking stability and crepitus. Stable. Okay, checking the genitalia and the perineum. Unremarkable. Okay, exposing the legs. Okay, checking the legs for any signs of DCAT, BTLS. None found. None found. Checking pedal pulses. Pulses are present. Pulses are present. Sir, can you move your toes? Can you move your toes, sir? Okay. No movement. Can you tell me what toe I'm touching? Okay. No response. No response on PMS. Checking the upper extremities for DCAT, BTLS. Okay, nothing found. Sir, can you, feel, can you feel me touching your hand, sir? Okay. Checking radial pulses, seeing if they're equal. They are equal. Okay. Rapid. No movement or sensation in the upper extremities. Moving on to the head. Checking the scalp for any signs of lacerations or any of the other DCAP BTLS. Looking in the ears for any signs of cerebrospinal fluid. None. Okay, checking for battle signs, raccoon eyes, checking the pupils with a pen light. Pupils are equal and reactive to light. Pupils are pearl. Okay, rechecking the airway for any signs of obstruction. None. Okay, at this point in time, we're going to put a C collar on the patient. C collar in place. Okay, we're going to roll the patient onto a backboard. Sir, we're going to put you onto a backboard and we're going to put you in an ambulance, take you down to the hospital. Okay, on the heads count, we're going to roll the patient. Okay, heads count of three. We roll the patient. Okay, checking the back for any signs of DCAP, BTLS, checking the posterior. Nothing. Nothing. We roll the patient onto the backboard. We secure the patient to the backboard and we also recheck PMS in all four extremities. We take the patient into the ambulance. Uh, this patient is a load and go priority patient due to his being unconscious, unresponsive. Okay. In the ambulance, I'm gonna repeat my primary assessment, checking the airway, breathing, and circulation of the patient. Okay. Any change? None. Okay. We still have the patient on 15 liters of oxygen via non-rebreather. We're gonna take a set of vital signs. Okay, sir, we're taking you down to the hospital. You're gonna feel a squeeze on your arm as I take your blood pressure.
ADP is 126 over 66. 110 over 80. 110 over 80. Pulse is 78, regular and strong. 100, weak. Okay. Checking respirations. Okay, respirations are approximately 10 a minute. 24. 24. Okay, uh, I'm going to have an assistant assist ventilations with a bag valve mask. Okay. Checking lung sounds. Checking air movement in all four quadrants. Checking mid axillary. Lungs are, lung sounds are clear bilaterally. Lung sounds are clear. Okay. We're going to repeat the head to toe assessment. Uh, rechecking um, the scalp for any signs of decap BTLS, rechecking the eyes, rechecking the airway. Rechecking the throat for any signs of JVD or jugular vein distension. Nothing found. Okay. Rechecking the chest for any signs of DCAP BTLS, any crepitus on movement upon palpation. Nothing found. Okay. Rechecking the abdomen for any signs of rigidity or distension. Rechecking None the found. pelvis for stability. Pelvis is stable. Rechecking the genitalia and perineum. Unremarkable. Rechecking the legs for any signs of DCAP BTLS. None found. Okay. Checking the feet. Pedal pulses are present, strong, and regular. Pedal pulses are present, strong, and regular. Okay. Sir, can you move your toes? Can you feel me touching your toe? No response. No response. Rechecking the extremities. No signs of DCAP BTLS on the right arm. Or the left arm? None found. Okay, sir, can you move your fingers? No response. Okay. Left radial pulse is present, strong, and regular. Right radial pulse also present, strong, and regular. Both pulses are present. Present. Skin color, temperature, con and condition? Still pale and cool. Still pale and cool. Okay, sir, if you can hear me, can you tell me what happened? Can you tell me if you have any medical conditions, any major medical conditions, any allergies? Are you on any medications? Due to the patient's unresponsive condition, uh, sample history is not possible at this time. We are going to recheck our vital signs every five minutes en route to the hospital, give a report to the hospital, recheck any interventions we've done, and maintain his airway breathing and circulation. Sir, again, my name is Jeff. What is your name? Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan, can you tell me what, what hurts right now? What's bothering you? My back and my neck. Your back and your neck, okay. You fell off the ladder. Uh, it, does, uh, in addition to your back and neck, does anything else hurt right now? No. Okay, do you have any other, anything else going on? Any dizziness, any, no. anything like that? Any nausea? Okay, good. All right, so Jonathan, I have a number of questions for you, and they'll probably be repeated later. Are you allergic to any medication? Amoxicillin. Amoxicillin, okay. Uh, are you currently taking any medication for anything? No. Okay. Is there any significant uh, medical history? No. Okay, so no major ailments? No. Pretty healthy? Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jonathan, when was the last time you ate today? This morning. This morning, what did you have? Uh, power bar. Power bar? Yeah. Okay. Can you tell me exactly 
what happened when you were on the ladder and, and why you fell off? I don't remember. I just remember waking up. You just remember waking oh, up? Yeah. Okay. You don't know if you passed out or were dizzy or if it was just a trip or something? No. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to continue to check you out as we take you to the hospital, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm going to expose the patient. Looking for any major injuries that would interfere with breathing. I'm going to check the rib cage for any signs of DCAP BTLS, deformities, contusions, abrasions, punctures, penetrations. I'm going to move the breast tissue aside with the back of my hand, checking the sternum, checking for bilateral chest rise. Okay. 